So this is the um, taffy that's just been poured out of the kettle. We just put it on the cooling table to cool down. And I'm actually gonna wipe it down. We oil the table so it won't, the candy won't stick, but then uh, on the puller, it makes it a little bit more difficult. So I'm just gonna. Yeah. And then I'm gonna bring it over to the puller. This is the taffy puller. This is the most fun machine. Oops. So this machine actually aerates the candy just like making meringues or marshmallows. Um, doing this by hand is really brutal work. You usually would have like a hook and you would fling it over. Um, but you'll see as it aerates, it becomes way more opaque. Um, says, do you just eat this all day? <laughs> no, I don't. I. Uh, we, we always taste it, and whenever I do taste it, I'm always like, wow, this is really good. Um, but yeah, just for sanity's sake, I don't eat as much as sometimes I would like to. This is my favorite part though. It's um, the most mesmerizing for sure. Jim wants to know what flavor is this again? This is the sea salt caramel. We make our own uh, burnt sugar syrup for it and we add large grain sea salt. So it's got sort of like a bitter, sweet, salty thing going on, which makes it very different than the normal caramel that most people are used to, which is just sort of sweet. This has got more of like a bitter taste. Yeah, it's super relaxing though. <laughs> Camila says, how long does this part of the process take? It's actually fairly short. Um, sometimes I wish it was longer. It's about three minutes, two and a half minutes. Um, and it depends on like if it's too hot or the temperature of the actual candy, but usually about that. And it's what's kind of cool about it too is that it, when we put the salt in, we don't have to like mix it on the table. This mixes it for us, totally combines it. Jesse wants to know a very simple question: What is happening? That's a good question. Um, taffy is a chewy candy. Um, it is sort of like nougat uh, or tarone, so it's an aerated candy. Um, and it's not cooked to the hard ball stage. Um, it's sort of in between the firm ball and the hard ball. Um, and it's not a hard candy, which is like a lollipop. But uh, yeah. So it's almost done. I'm gonna probably take it off now. But I'll show you, this is kind of a fun thing too that I like to do. I always like to watch it drop. <laughs> it's also like very mesmerizing for some reason. This reminds me of modern art somehow. He wants to know how you got in the business. 
Um, I really wanted to start my own company and I couldn't afford um, culinary school. Um, and so I, I was living in Brooklyn, there was a whole food scene going on and I decided that I would intern with six different food companies, a butcher, a baker, a candlestick maker, just kidding, a candy maker and um, like a couple restaurants and I just, I used to make candy when I was little and it all just came back to me. And uh, it was really just, I just fell in love with it. Okay, so the next step would be uh, to take it off, um, and if we're lucky, it won't stick super bad. There we go. Can you tell? I know it's awful. It sticks to everything and uh, gets everywhere. I used to come home and I would have like corn syrup on my face and like my legs somehow. But there's a couple tricks to it. You just definitely have to oil everything. So I'm going to put this on the cooling table. See, I always think this is pretty, but. Um, and then, so we just cut this in half to help it cool down. And you can tell it's like quite a beast. Like, it's really... She misses bananas, her favorite flavor. Do you have any weird flavors you do for, for different holidays? We do pumpkin and we do an eggnog that's got real whiskey in it, um, which is awesome. But the pumpkin is really popular. That's got like real ginger, cinnamon, nutmeg and uh, pumpkin puree. Camila wants to know, have you ever had an instance where it stuck to the machine, and how did you, uh, how did you handle that? Oh, a jam? Well, I've never had it, it um, just stick to the taffy puller, but the cutting and wrapping machine, if it's really, really super humid out, it will get, uh, it'll get jammed. She wants to know, do those weigh a lot? Yeah, so this is 25 pounds together. So we're just going to leave it here for a second for it to get uh, cooler and then it'll go on the batch roller and then it'll go into the cutting and wrapping machine. Sandy wants to know how many times do you do this a day? Six. Okay. Yeah. What's They're, your favorite part about the entire process? I mean, the taffy puller is pretty cool, but I do also like Harriet. The cutting and wrapping machine is awesome. Craig wants a reminder of where we are and what we do to save. Okay, we are in Brooklyn, New York, and we just made... Uh, the sea salt caramel saltwater taffy, um, and we are in Salty Road, which is the only New York City saltwater taffy factory. Thomas wants to know how big is the team here? We have uh, four full-time people, and they're all awesome, and they're all over here. Actually, you guys should have some. It's having taffy that's fr like fresh from the puller is like very rare. Okay. Yeah, they're so much softer. That's pretty awesome. Everyone wants some. Uh, where can they get it? Um, the salty road dot com. Do you have a storefront? Kate wants to know. We're working on that. 
But we don't right now. We um, mostly do wholesale and a lot of, at a lot of specialty shops. Can I show a box? Yeah, show us a box. Oh shoot, do we have any sea salt caramel? Oh, yes. Okay, thanks. <laughs> so this is the actual box. And then we have seven other flavors right now. And then Pumpkin will make it eight. Chris says thank you so much for having us. Yeah, thanks for uh, coming. <laughs>